but they don't take the dollar then. I'd like to read for you this morning Psalms 42, Salmos Karasunyadu, Arashin. Psalms 42, 1. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? The writer of this beautiful psalm is David, King David. David was one of the most successful, powerful, wealthy men in all of Israel, in all of history. David had everything. David had more power, more gold, more money, more possessions, more success than you and I even dream about. And if you look at what David writes, and he says, after I have all these things, as a deer thirsts for water, as a deer has a basic need for water after running through the forest, sweating and hot and thirsty, as that deer needs to drink of that water, what does David say? That's how my soul pants for you, O oh God. After David had everything, after he had the whole world at his feet, there's one thing David wants more than anything, and that's God. Like a deer wants that water from that cool stream, from that cool brook in the middle of the forest. That's the degree, the intensity that David needs God. 1,600 years are means of being massacred for the sake of God. For a thousand six hundred years, my relatives and your relatives have died for God. Their blood has been shed. I have stories in my own family where they've died in the streets, and I'm sure you have too. What makes an entire nation <laughs> sacrifice itself, what drives an entire nation to allow to be massacred, to die? There has to be something deep inside there. There has to be something essential. There has to be something critical inside for an entire nation to die and continue to die for 1,600 years. Shikara Dusavorich and on knew Armenians know that they need God. That they need God more than anything. They need God more than political strength. They need God more than whatever this world can offer. Armenians made a decision. We need God. We need God to so much of a level. We need God to such a degree that we're willing to die in sacrifice. For the years I've lived, I've uh, made some mistakes in my life, and I've made and I've learned from those mistakes. One of the mistakes I made and I learned is when you're 14 years old, don't make the mistake of backing up in a narrow driveway with a big Oldsmobile. And the biggest lesson that I have learned in the years that I have lived is this lesson: Humpy Kojolanya needs God. That is the single most important thing that I always go back to, the mistakes I made, the times that I've been alone, the times when I've been really busy with everything else. Everything has come down to that single fact that I need God. There's nothing else in my life that I 
can experience that I have gained or that I have lost that can even come close to that. I need God. The Armenians needed God. David, after having everything, he says, like a deer needs that water, I need God. Jesus Christ didn't come 2,000 years ago. He didn't die on that cross and shed his blood as a God dying for man. Millions and millions of Armenians didn't die for over 1,600 years just for you and I to go to church twice a year. Man's need for God is greater than that. The level, the necessity for you and I, the basic core for your lives as you grow up is to understand what is central, what is the main thing, what is the focus, what is the most essential part of your existence as you grow up? And that is God. Who else are we going to turn to? Why? Who else do you turn to for peace? Who else are we going to turn to for hope? Who else are we going to turn to for the bitterness that is inside us? For the love, for the forgiveness. Who else does a father and a husband turn to? To raise his family under one roof. Who else does a husband and a wife turn to? To live together for 50 years and to love each other. Who else do we pray to for our children? Who else do we have? What other hope is there but Jesus Christ? It is essential. It is not just our convenience. It isn't just so our grandmothers can give us a shakar that we go to church. It is more basic. It is more elemental. It is central to your lives. As you grow up, and as you grow up, but humping, I want to be this, and humping, I want to do that, and I want to grow up to be this, always keep a place for God. That is the single most important thing in your lives. As only water can quench a panting deer, so too can only Christ quench your panting souls. God bless you.